I guess it's time for me to lose my runes. I only have 50,000. I would need like another 100,000 to level. I, I don't have enough, so I'm gonna end up losing my runes. There's nothing I can do about it. It sucks. Cash out some remembrances? Eh, fuck it. All right, let's go get my ass kicked for the first time. You know this is gonna be a, a fucking thorough ass whooping. For now, I'm actually not going to drink my physic flask. I'm gonna drink it maybe if I ever get to phase two. All right, here it is. Everyone wanted this. Your first sight of millennia, I guess. I've been waiting for this. And then we'll have a whole a whole hour of trying to beat her, which probably ain't gonna happen today. Like I said, I'm probably gonna end up respecking this this magic build. Ain't it? You know. The other build I had was much better. She sees the dung eater mask and is so appalled she immediately quits the game. Instant win. Ew, she is rotted. Because previously she wasn't rotted. She she infected the rot in order to beat Radagon, right? Oh. That she infected herself with the rot to beat Radagon. Wow, she's got boots with her toes in them. Like, you see that? It's golden toe boots. I've never seen that before. That's pretty intricate. You, that's got to be custom made to fit your toes in that shit. So long. My flesh was dull gold. And my blood rotted. She also has a false arm, just corpse like uh, Millicent. Left in my wake. As I awaited his return. Who, Michaela? Heed my word. I am Melania. Melania. Blade of Mikola. Oh, it's Mikola? I didn't even know, like, Mikola Blight? I didn't even know that's how you say it. <laughs> Mel Melania and Mikola. I said it wrong the whole game. No one corrected me. And I have never known to fight. And you're not gonna know it now either. But I'm pretty confident. Oh, boy! That was a good start. Oh, she's fast. The good news is she's not doing any insane damage, except for the combos. The, the single hits aren't that bad. She has no stagger, though, if you haven't noticed. That doesn't affect her at all, the stagger. Oh, that combo is very good. Oh, double slam. She's a dancer. She got her health back. When she hits you, she gets her health back, huh? Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I think she gets her health back when she hits you. Oh, it did stagger her. So when do I do the st when do I interrupt her? Combo's the worst. Cause then she gets all her health back. Yeah. You can't defeat a protagonist. Mikalu. Blade of Mikalu. Blade of a terrible beer brand. And you are just product placed out of the game, bitch. I lost to a product placement of a shitty beer. That sucks. And that's gonna happen another 4,000 times. The good news is she does stagger. The bad news is she gets her fucking health back when she hits you. Now I kind of understand why she's so tough. I wonder if that's both forms, because obviously the boss is gonna have two forms. I do like that she staggered. That gives me some hope. If she was pure poise... I'm gonna try this build a few more times. I was doing good damage, which is weird because this is supposed to be the toughest thing in the game I thought that uh, it would basically have more health, but actually it wasn't that bad Maybe it's because she heals that they they let you deal a significant amount of damage I'll try it a few more times I really feel like I'm gonna have to respec in order to make this work, but I, let's try a couple more times at least I hit her and she hit me come on Do something I'm waiting for you. I'm not attacking. I'm not stupid interrupt my attack. Fucking do something. Is she seriously gonna wait? I think she's purposely waiting. Maybe she parries you. Oh, oh boy. I didn't see that yet. Oh, uh, she's still doing it. 
Look at all the health she got back. So that attack is a big no no. If you get hit by that one, that's like almost a full heal. Dodge this. That was shitty. Damn. Such range. We can fuck out. Yeah. I blew it totally. Blade. Blew it totally right there. I was doing good and then I wonder if you have to get the whole health bar down to get to phase two, or if it's a deal with just under half that gets to phase two. Oh, oh, it's still hitting me. It's greed. The third hit's always greed. Sometimes she's aggressive and sometimes she doesn't attack. Jesus! She never did that. Wow. Yeah, I can't get away from that flurry. Whenever she does it, I get hit. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna pop the flask. Wow, it did absolutely nothing. It, it only absorbed like the very fine, tiny first hit. Worthless. It sucks because I can hit her in the air, just in the air. But then she gets a hit after and it just kind of negates what I just did. She has weaknesses. If you try fire, and he says, that's a range sword just saying here. How much do you want to bet if I try to go into that incredibly lengthy animation? She's going to interrupt it. The last thing I want to do is commit to an insanely lengthy animation where she's going to fucking come right in and get a free combo. So, probably not going to be doing that. Some people are seeing all kinds of recommendations. We're like, the Blasphemous Blade works here well because you get your health back. Actually, no, you wouldn't. Only if you use your special ability, I guess, right? Because you're not going to die, so you're not going to get anything unless she's a, it's a kill. But you would get it if you use your special attack. Watch. Told ya. Not even worth it. I knew it. Wow. As soon as I go to heal, this game is all about reading your heal and just counter-hitting you right through it. So just dodge it. You know what's probably good against her? If you're good with a shield... Either time blocks or parries are probably really good, I bet, in this fight. It seems like this would be the fight for it. See, I can't get her health. I can't get her health down. Because every time it looks like I'm going to get her health down, she does that flurry. And I, I can't get the distance to not get hit by a couple of those hits. See, I'm waiting for her. There's absolutely no point in trying to go headstrong into her. She's going to fuck you up. You want her to attack and counter what she does. 100%. Wow. That's good. Now she's gonna be pissed. Told ya. What did I say? What did I say? I stagger her, she got so pissed off at me. Wow, I was totally rolling. She was like, no, how dare you? Carlton Jr. feels like I should do some ranged sword slashes when she whips. I don't know what would even be a good ranged sword slash with this build. Oh, I almost had it there, but I missed because you saw that, right? You saw what happened? He swung the wrong way. See, she moves. And then all of a sudden, you can't jump at her anymore. You try, and the game makes you jump backwards and shit. That's so dumb. J keep jumping towards her. Why jump in the wrong direction? Yeah, you can't follow up. I was going to see if you could follow up. You absolutely cannot. If you do the jump attack and do a regular attack, she will move out of the way. And it's very annoying because I want to get that fourth jump attack in, and then the camera 
rotates and the game makes you jump the wrong direction. If the game had more intuitive controls when it comes to its lockdown system, and if you actually adjusted to her movements, then it would be a lot easier to keep doing the consecutive heavy attacks. But once she starts like sidestepping, you can't stay on her. You jump the wrong way. When you jump, the camera rotates and your character refuses to follow the enemy. So you end up jumping completely the wrong direction. And if you've pressed a button to commit to an attack, you're way the wrong direction and you have no stamina. It's a problem. I would say it's probably the drawback of jump attacks in the game. If you have a very mobile enemy and you're locked on, you get fucked up in that case. But the thing is, you see, sometimes it's paying off. I'm getting three, four hits. So it looks like you do have to take down her health bar twice, unfortunately, because I've gotten her below 50% and she has not gone to a phase two. Makes me feel like this is going to be insanely difficult. Stop attacking When she does it, like, in your face, it's so tough. I hate that you can't jump past it. I want to jump past that slam. I think in this case, too, when she does it, you might want to remove your lock on. Because it seems like when you start rolling, you're going to end up rolling towards her. That's bullshit. Why? She's right there. Dude, see what I mean? It's complete nonsense. She's right fucking there and I can't hit her. I'm getting her down to the point where she's about to stagger and then she does that move that you're done. You need like full stamina to dodge that and the problem is I don't think she ever uses it unless it's in retaliation for you doing a ton of attacks. I can't recall her ever doing that once when I wasn't or when I had full stamina. It's like she's waiting for your stamina bar to be nearly empty to do that move and then you just can't get away from it. I would love to see the actual uh, hitbox for that move. Is it just a radio like a big sphere? Or is it actually individual strikes that combo into each other? It seems like it's individual strikes. Now you notice something. She tracks me, and as I'm moving around, she can still hit me with these combos. Even when she's doing that jumping floaty move, she still comes down and hits me. But if I do my jump attack, my tracking doesn't work. It's bullshit, and that's how exactly how the game is, and that's how every fucking FromSoft game is. Every enemy has every advantage. You have every fucking possible disadvantage. It's completely unfair. Oh, what happened? It completely dropped my input. That's a rarity. She's not letting me heal now. See? Nope. She won't let me heal. I guess you just have to be prepared to die. And I can't track what she does. There's no point to it. One of the builds people have suggested is trying to go pure faith because apparently faith spells are insanely good now. As soon as she's up in the air, I don't know what to do. Do I go forward, try to run through her? Do I try to go backward? I almost feel like it may be advantageous if I can get knocked down. Maybe when she starts the attack and floats, I should jump and maybe then she'll knock me down and then I can stay on the ground and roll through the rest. God. I tried to roll. At least she did it before she had, I hit her. Is that why she doesn't get any health back? I absolutely had tried to roll there. You just had, you didn't want to have anything to do with it. Look. Wow. Tanked it. She's... It's weird how certain attacks she has give her like 100% poise. When she does the spin kick, when she does that stand up move, whenever she's flipping. Now what happened there? How did I miss exactly? I don't even understand how I missed the attack. I slammed directly into her body and he whiffed. Wow, I did hit her, but then she impaled me. She tanked it completely. I definitely rolled. Complete bullshit. Doubtful. Roll. I just wanted two rolls. I wanted a second roll after the first. Wouldn't give it to me. And there's nothing you can do because she reacted to my roll with the grab. So there's nothing I can do to get out of the way. I jumped. Ah. Pretty dumb. I'm jumping and it's coming out so late. 
that it can't be affected. Yep, now here we go. Every time she does a sidestep, it's completely nothing I can do about it. Roll! I did it! As soon as I saw her body start moving, I rolled. The game's so sluggishly bad. It won't let me dodge it. Stupidly bad, man. Stupidly slow. The truth of the matter here is the tough part is her fucking her flurry attack. If she didn't have that attack, it wouldn't be so bad. You could probably like wear her down, whittle her down. It wouldn't be a big deal. But that flurry attack is what's getting you, man. So I don't know how I can get out of the way. It seems like it's not for a dodging character. Unless you have a lot of dodge buffs. But you can't attack. There are dodge buffs you can use. You make dodging better. Yeah, this is still shit now. She gets a lot of cheap hits in. I rolled right there. It doesn't come out. Are you kidding me? A blatantly broadcast move. I dodged. No. Nope. Yeah, forget it. I start a totally bad run here. I tried to roll. Nothing. Roll! It still won't roll. It's like the eighth missed roll this one. He keeps not tracking her. It's so stupid. Somehow with. Why? Why are you attacking left? She's right there. If I were there in real life, I would be able to hit her. Wait, he's so stupid because the, the lock-on system is so dumb. He swings the wrong way. It's too hard to turn and swing in a, a, an adjusted direction. Dodge this, next attack if you can. this guy sucks. He's a terrible warrior. You have to roll so early for it to come out there. It's pretty dumb how early you have to roll. What the heck? I couldn't even... The camera spun twice around her as she jumped. What the fuck? How am I supposed to tell what to do? The camera can't even decide which way to point. <laughs> Yay! Gee, I wonder how I lost. The same thing again. Played her for about an hour. Made a dent in her, but couldn't get past her first four, mostly because she has a ridiculous attack that seems to be the most powerful attack I've ever seen in Dark Souls. Or, I guess I shouldn't call it Dark Souls because it's not Dark Souls, right, guys? Even though it totally is Dark Souls 4, as I said at the beginning of the playthrough. Since everyone seems to complain that my death counter is always off, I'm just going to add an arbitrary 15 additional deaths to the death counter. Because I don't know how much I actually died in this playthrough, nor do I care. But there's people who actually bitch about it. So I'm just going to add 15 deaths just for the hell of it. I tried to dodge it and it fucking just hits right through what you're doing. It's so dumb. I press dodge and the game's so delayed it won't let me dodge the fucking move. Roll, please. Now I can't roll. Huh. Roll forward. What happened? That one move is all that beats me. That's it. If she didn't have that move, she would be deader than dead. It's that one stupid fucking move. And I'm trying different strategies. I'm trying roll forward, roll back, roll back, roll forward. I'm trying different stuff. She tracks you with it. If you stagger her and she does it right after, you can get away by running. But outside of that, like, it's ridiculous, man. It's the one move. It's literally the one move. It's a one move fight at this point. I can beat everything else she does effectively. I can't beat the one stupid overpowered move. I couldn't do it because I was against the wall. I couldn't dodge the triple stab. Yeah, she won't let me heal. She won't let me heal at all. I got away from the attack that time, but then what she did, she just kept doing the dash triple stab, dash triple stab over and over. So I could never recover from it. What you could do, you can stagger it. I should have jump attacked it. The second time she did it, I should have said, oh, fuck this. And I should have just jump attacked it to stagger her and reset her. So then I would have been able to heal when she backed away. What? What happened? That's never happened before. She's never grounded me with that move. I've been able to jump and hit it. They added a jump mechanic, which is very powerful, and then a camera lock-on system that is shit. So you always whiff if she moves when you're jumping. You can't just turn and hit. Like in real life, if I jumped at someone to hit them, and I didn't swing yet, and they move, 
Am I committed to swinging in that direction? Of course not. It's actually easier to attack someone in real life than it is in this game. I'm not even fucking kidding. If someone was actually walking around me in real life, I'd be able to hit them easier than in this game with the lock-on system. It sucks so bad. When you play the game, you see shortcomings of the combat engine during the gameplay, but you kind of let them slide because you're still progressing. You're having fun, even though the fights are kind of one-sided towards the enemy. If you use the tools given to you, you can pretty much persevere, whether it's by leveling, whether it's by finding a, a move like the jump attack that I found incredibly useful during this playthrough. But in this fight, all the shortcomings of the combat engine are exposed. The tracking that doesn't work, the unresponsive roll, the lagging, the input cues, all the things that FromSoft had opportunity to fix over the years, and they didn't bother because people kiss their fucking ass constantly. The things that all other games have moved past, games like Neo and other FromSoft style Souls games don't do that shit anymore. Only this game retains the old style shit. Yet people just forgive it. Well, I got to the second form finally. Ugh. Oh. About fucking time. Now I'll probably die instantly. There's a person in the tree? Who is the person who's the root of the tree? One of the gods, perhaps? Wait. <laughs> hey, we're not done yet. Oh, she bud. Remember there's all the budding? She's gonna bud. Yes. The ultimate god of bullshit. You disgust me, you freak. Great. Rock butterflies. I will. You know this true horror. I already had this, yo. No eyeballs. Yeah. It's fine. Oh, you fucking bitch. Oh, what? Well, the good news is she takes lots of damage. The bad news is I don't know any of her attacks. So there's nothing I can do about it. I have to keep toughing through the first form to finally get to the second, which is going to be a pain in the ass, and here's why. Because in a game like this, the first form is harder than the second form. I've actually been saying this the entirety of my run in this game. Here's the problem, though. The first form is such a pain in the fucking ass that I don't know if I'm going to be able to consistently beat it. It may end up being that I just lose a million times to the first form, and every once in a while I get to the second, but then I can't learn the pattern because... I don't get to fight it enough. This is actually a problem with old school NES games where enemies would have like second or third form bosses, but the first form was so hard, you would never get an opportunity to really get to it and learn what you were supposed to be doing. Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. That didn't work. She did it again! She has it in the second form too, the same waterfall bullshit. She has it, man.
Even running full speed across the screen, she caught up with me. Running full speed away from her. It's really a one move fight. It absolutely is. If she did not have that one move, this would be a pretty reasonable boss. Why am I, it didn't make sense. She's not doing a, that was not a poise attack. I mean, why even fight? Look where they put me. Look where the fuck I am. I'm stuck in a nub of the tree in the wall. Look, <laughs> I can't move at all. Of course, I go to heal some stabs. I mean, she has all these new attacks that I need to learn in the second form. Wow, it was more staggered than usual. It actually came out slower. Here's something that people don't think about. Imagine if the AI actually was 100% reactive to what you did. Imagine if the AI could read what you were doing and immediately do a move in response all the time, the game would be unbeatable. Because every boss fight, the bosses have abilities that are just so overpowered compared to your abilities. Just think about this. Every time she sees you try to roll, she does that grab on command. Just boop, done. It comes out so quick, she'll grab your roll every time and insta-kill you. It's pretty, pretty scary to think about that. Thank God that, that it's, it's kind of an RNG selection of moves and comes to bosses and jumps off. Can you imagine if they were that smart and they could just select exactly what was the right move in every situation? Now I can't roll. I tried to roll. Come on. Give me the fucking move that I've done a million times before. Stop dropping my inputs and shit. Fucking laggy ass controls. I rolled. I totally rolled in reaction. It's so fucking delayed. You're already dead. Now she does this. Now how cheap is that? She does the grab. You're getting up and now she's going to do the move she knows you can't get away from. You see? That was perfect. They seriously should move away from this, but they won't, because now they've sold insane amounts of copies of this game. So the most popular version of this style of game will be unreactive sluggish controls, which is fucking stupid. When you've got other franchises doing it better, Neo has reactive controls. This does not, it just fucking doesn't respond. It's so in input delayed. Look at the damage output. Insane. I'm never gonna get damage on her. Look! Oh, come on! Stop reading the fucking input, you fucking bitch! Three times in a row! Three times she read the heal! Are you serious? Wow! Three times she read the heal! Oh my god! Ali Corny, no one is stupid in listening to you about using a shield on Water Dance. We're not morons. We know that she heals with every block and hit, so why would we do that and give her full health back? You'd be a buffoon. But you think you're funny. You're a fucking idiot. No, Darzy, you're right. I could be using rune arcs too, but I'm trying I'm still trying to learn. Can't roll. I'm trying to roll. It wouldn't roll once that whole sequence. How dumb was that? The entire sequence I couldn't roll. Oh really? I'm done. Yeah, look at that. Complete ridiculousness right there. She fucking did it right in the but she never does it then either. She never does it then, and she decided to do it.
It's time for us to go back to a spec that makes sense. Higher DPS, higher stagger, smash the shit out of her. I want to be able to do the dual halberds build. I want to make sure that both halberds are plus tens. My problem is I'm now rusty because I haven't fought her in like 40 minutes. So now, actually about 30 minutes. I'm coming to get you. Lipstein says, run away before you use the flash. You have plenty of time to buff, so it doesn't track. That, that attack doesn't track at all. I thought it did. Okay, let us get to the halberds. And where the frig are they now? Because I haven't used them in a, in a while, actually. Oh, uh, I have to find them. I passed them, didn't I? I'm pretty sure I did. Fuck at the halberds. Okay. Gargoyle, black halberd, plus 10. Oh, wait. I already maxed them? Oh. Wait, it goes up another level? Oh, no, I'm so stupid. This is how you make it plus 10. So now we need to respec. So, uh, where's the golden halberd? There it is. I'm blind. Oh, shit. I got to equip my freaking stupid, my dumb thing to cast incantations to buff. Oh, that's going to put me on heavy load for sure. What do people say is a good vigor rating? 60? 35 strength? Do I need 35 strength? Let me also look at what I took a picture of before I respect to the intelligence build. I was only at 44 vigor. That was one of my major problems. My vigor was very low. 21 mind gets you 104 MP. Nah, I don't think I need it though. I'm only going to be using it for buff spells. I'm not going to use offensive spells right now. I'm trying to overwhelm her because I have better poise and damage output but she's fucking reading my stuff and doing the right move to stop it. I don't want to play it so, like, afraid and casual. I want to, like, start comboing her and staggering the shit out of her to make the, the first... I want to make the first form easier so that way it doesn't become, oh my god, it takes so long to get to the second form. It's such a chore. I... What was that? I pressed back and circle? He started doing some animation. I didn't even know what it was. I don't know why, what that was and why I got hit. I have no clue. Why did that whip? You saw that? Sometimes, roll. Something's going on. It's absolutely something's going on that's not doing what I'm telling you. Something's going on. It's not time. Break. It's so weird. It's like the timing started starting to be off in the middle of the fight. Also, I don't like that I'm missing. Did you notice that? Sometimes I'm doing jump attacks and it's showing the halberds actually passing through her body, but there's no hit. What the fuck, man? It's really starting to piss me off now. Their bullshit hitbox is the fucking game. I put up to it for a certain amount, but it's the fucking hardest boss. Can the hitboxes please fucking work? Boys, always end it with the fucking bullshit boys. Oh, what's going on? I couldn't roll. I tried to roll those two hits. He wouldn't do anything. Hey, you missed, bro. Jump! I can't move. I keep getting locked in place, and I don't know why. That's just, it's happening. I think the halberds lock you in, in an animation or something that I'm not doing. He won't move after the moves. With the swords, I was able to move right away. But the halberds are getting, like, locked in place, and I can't get out of my animation. I'm getting locked into animations I don't want. And I don't know why it's doing that. I'm a little nervous about the dex. I don't remember what the dex rating was that I needed. I should have looked that up, and I didn't. Watch me respec, and then I'll be like, oh, I'm two, I'm two levels short. I get fucked. You should be able to back out and check. Yeah, but now I don't remember. I won't remember what I have it at. I have to take another picture. Ugh. I didn't want to back out. I need 14 dex. That's it. Yeah, the dex is a waste. I only need, what was it, 15? Something like that? Not even. I think it was 13, wasn't it? I think it said 13. I didn't pick a picture. It was 14? Okay. 14. Thank you. Thank you for telling me because I'm stupid. The halberd already has a buff and people told me it's the equivalent of golden vow. So I actually don't want to use golden vow either. I'm going to take that off. This, it only absorbs one hit. It's kind of crappy. Boosts all damage negation. I didn't even know I had this. More likely to break enemy stances rather than absorbing the one hit that does nothing. Let's do this and we're going to try this in the second form. Wow, she went insanely far. I thought I was far enough away it was going to stop in front of me and I was going to be able to roll through the second part. No. Nope. Wow, again. Seriously. That was not good. Uh, 
don't like this. You do it twice. It's fucking annoying bullshit. I'm done. She decided to do it a third time. So RNG not favoring me right now. Now I didn't get greedy. I need to do that. I need to overwhelm her so she staggers. That's what I'm trying to do. I have to overwhelm her to stagger her. That way she can't keep doing that bullshit. If I had hit her one to two more times, she absolutely would have staggered. What the fuck? You see my point? So that blatantly went through her and the game claims it didn't hit. It went right through her fucking body. How can I fight a super boss when my attacks that are blatantly going into her body miss? I'm, I'm getting spun around attacking backwards for no reason. It's like I told you guys, when you fight a super boss like this, the combat engine's problems get exposed. You can blatantly see bullshit happening. Like, come on. Just hit. She's right fucking in front of me. No. Pass through the body and no connection. Okay. Right. Yeah, that's top tier combat engine right there. It's actually not. I hate to say it. If they had refined it for this game and made it better, I would have been very pleased. They didn't try at all. It's the same fucking Dark Souls combat engine with a jump attack. It's fucking broken, man. Apparently, Daz Boja is saying it actually will get worse. Wow. That's impressive. I don't know how it could, how the combat engine could get worse. Rusty Edwards did a super chat saying the golden vow incantation does stack with everything you're doing. No, I don't think it does. People were saying earlier in the playthrough, at least unless they were wrong, that Golden Valve would not stack with the Halberd buff I'm doing. That they're essentially doing exactly the same spell. I think it'll say, actually, on the Halberd. Yep, it is. It's Golden Valve, so you'd be doing it twice, which is a waste of time. Whoa! I didn't do that! He does the follow-up by himself. I swear to God, I didn't do it. The game does the follow-up by itself. And I get fucked. That's bullshit. I'm not, that's, he keeps doing it over and over. I don't know what it is that causes him to do it. Because I jump and I only tap L1 once. I don't mash or double tap. I jump and just tash L, just like this. That's all I'm doing. So what is causing him to do the follow-up when I'm not tapping it again? I don't know. We do dodge for some reason. Inexplicably. What the fuck? Why is he? He's rolling so fucking late. I'm not rolling then. There. Oh my god, I'm dead. That attack is ridiculous. It tracks no matter where you go. You have to dodge the di the dip the dive perfectly. Then you have to roll a second time to dodge the explosion. Then you can actually fight her. But do you see the problem? It takes so long to get to the second form. You can't learn the second form shit. You have to get lucky. It's fucking stupid. She's too fast for heavy weapons and jump attacks. No, she's not. I'm staggering her. I'm hitting her and staggering her. Look at this. We both missed. He missed again. <laughs> How ludicrous. What's the point of a lock-on system where your guy jumps the wrong direction repeatedly? Why well, have a lock on it? Very annoying that we it, it, the tracking is so bad that I just I get behind her and I can't hit her. She's wide open, I'm behind her and I just can't hit her. It whiffs over and over and he continuously jumps to the wrong direction. Continuously. I'm with come why? Why did that go through her body? Now I'm dead. Just, just put it down. Why? She's right there. It shows both halberds coming down into her body and it doesn't connect. Dude, this is fucked up. The swords were hitting better. Even though the swords have less range, the swords were actually hitting her better. The fucking hitboxes are terrible. How dumb. It hits and it's not staggering now. Why not? I couldn't even see it. I couldn't even see it. We know what to do. As soon as you get to form two, you wait. Then you roll away. You wait for the flower to go away. You dash up and you get a good amount of damage in on her and hopefully a lot of stagger. 
Why am I attacking the wrong direction? Why does he not turn and attack the right direction? Why does he continuously swing the wrong way? Why am I missing? God damn, this fucking engine sucks. Just fucking hit the bitch who's in front of you. Stop swinging left, right, and all around. Fucking spinning idiot. Are you dizzy? Is there fucking beer in that Estes flask or wine? You can't fucking see straight, you dumb shit. Hit her! She's right in front of you. Hit the bitch. Again, wrong direction. What are you doing? <laughs> I pressed jump when she attacked me. He jumps that late. You think so? Why is he jumping? I, <laughs> I fuck this. Why is he jumping? I don't have enough healing to win this now. Just kill me, you stupid idiot. He keeps jumping so late. He's jumping so fucking late. It's queued so early, and it comes out like a half a second or more later after I've already been hit and interrupted. Stop fucking doing things so late. God damn this game. I'm just angry at the combat engine right now because it fucking sucks. I'm tired of the delay. I just want the game to fucking do it when I press the button. I want the move. Not two, three seconds fucking later. Dog shit. Beat this bitch using Rivers of Blood Katana. It's Asha Wars OPSL. Everyone does that. Everyone uses Bleed to Beat her. Like, almost everyone on the internet just looked up that build and cheesed her with the fucking uh, blood bill. Or summoned like crazy. Or combination, you know, of cheesy things like that. This one guy left a comment on my video and goes, oh, I beat her in like an hour. By summoning by using this stun locking spell because she was distracted and then I did this and that and, and someone's like damn I mean it's it's legit but if you're actually trying to beat the game head up like Dark Souls <laughs> that's you know because I could right now I could I could level my mimic here come in here summon have her be distracted take away half her fucking health before she even sees me you know but I wanna I want to beat her head up of course ultimate toys attacking so fast you can't read it Right, I can't hit, she's right in front of me, but I can't hit her, because he jumps and attacks right instead of straight into her body. That's not me, that's the game engine. The game engine needs to be improved. I rolled and it doesn't come out. I, look how late it came out, you saw that shit? It did roll insanely late. When you see the roll come out that late, you know it's bullshit. I pressed it at the right time, the game delays it, and then you fucking get it super late. They're out of their minds. I know summoning is not cheating, but I want to beat it, like, head up. I know I'm saying legit, but I want to beat it like it's a Souls game. I've been saying it all along, this is Dark Souls 4. It absolutely is Dark Souls 4. You can challenge yourself enough to beat it. Like, I know right now I could summon, and probably within a few tries, if I leveled up that stupid mimic tier shit, I'd probably beat her. But I want to beat her head up one-on-one. -on -one. I don't want to have a fucking distraction in the room, and that's why I won. Wow, I couldn't see. The camera went into my body. So there was no way to see where she was, so I could dodge her. Right. What a great placing for the camera, huh? I was actually doing better on phase one with the fucking magic swords, which is hilarious because the magic swords actually are recovering better than these. These do more damage and have more range, but they actually miss more and they have more recovery issues. Can't yeah, see? That's the sword tracked better. The sword would track better. If she did that, I could hit her. I can't hit her with these. They go, they're slow to trap. So if she whiffs, I get screwed because I can't punish her after. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. It sucks. The jumping attack is better, but the ground attack is worthless. And on top of that, I, it looks like it doesn't track as well as the swords. It's just weird that the swords would turn when she jumps and these don't. How does that make any fucking sense? The answer is it does. It makes no fucking sense at all. Zero. Just like the game. See? What do I do there? I have no idea what to do to that. She get all her health back with that. See? Halberd just stop. Yeah, this sucks. The halberds are getting into, like, not coming down and hitting her off from above. The swords were. This is really confusing because the halberds are supposed to have more sta more poison stagger, and they don't, apparently. Nope. 
she read me. She read my move and decided to punish my heal. There's really no point in continuing. She has all her health back now. It's a waste of time. Again! Yeah, see, this is bullshit. When I had the swords, the, the attack still came out. When I jump, okay, and I attack with these halibuts, if she hits me during the jump, my attack interrupts and I don't get it. When I was jumping with the sword, with the swords, the attack came out anyway. So what's the difference here? I have less poise now, do I? I'm at 82 poise. Because I'll say, fuck this then, get rid of that. All right, that lowers my equipment weight. So if I were to lower one of these, it's equivalent. It basically becomes equivalent. The break is 60? What do you mean? Poise doesn't matter. The weapons work differently. That sucks. Because I was doing so well with the magic swords. Of course, I felt like I wanted more damage output, which is why I went to these. And these are doing more damage. But if I'm missing half the time, what's the point? It's a waste of time. Try double faith swords. Yeah, you think so? Maybe I should try double swords. I could. Oh, uh, I got to find my great swords again. These are them, right? No, those are colossal swords. I need the great swords, I believe. Where were they? Uh... See, these are gonna need more. I'm gonna have to respec again, because these are gonna need new stats. Where the fuck is it? Where's the flame sword that I used to have? Now, of course, I can't find the sword that I was using. It was the flame sword that had the flame attack. It's not a colossal sword? Or, is it not a great... It's not these. I mean, yes, the Blasphemous Blade is one, but what was the other one? The one that I was using before. Was it like the Black Flame Greatsword? I swear that's what it was called, but it's not here. God, that's it. They're telling me that the God Slayer Greatsword is a Colossal Sword. And because it's a Colossal Sword, I can't dual wield it with the other sword. They're gonna limit me to not being able to use it. I have to use two great swords. So I guess it's gonna be Blasphemous Blade and probably this Golden Order sword. The different amount of hyper armor stagger resist while attacking attached to halberds versus great swords. Great swords have more hyper armor than halberds because they're considered heavier weapons, but colossal weapons have the most. I don't have Golden Vow anymore, unless the fucking Golden Order sword has it. I don't know. Let me take a look at what's the ability of this sword. Raising armament in a salute. Releasing a weapon explosion. All right, that's worthless. So I'm only gonna have one. Oh no, wait a minute. I can do it. I can use it. I, instead of using the weapon ability, I can use the incantation. What the fuck was it called? God damn it. Golden Vow. There it is. TV, TV. Yeah, I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. So the normal L1s are really good with the dual swords. As you can see, sometimes they're actually stun locking her in a combo. As long as she's not in a poise move, I'm actually stun locking her with them, which is great. I'm actually appalled how bad Halberds are now in the, in the scheme of things. Now that I know that. Like, damn, man, I was using them for like the whole game. I should have been using great swords the whole game. Oh my god! You think that was enough damage? Do you think she does enough damage? When she does triple slash dodge to the right, it doesn't seem to work. She tracks you. The triple slash seems like it's a tracking move that's insanely long distance and insane range. And it tracks wherever you move. I could try, I will try, but I don't think that's gonna work at all. Beat this bitch using Rivers of Blood Katana, it's Asha Wars OPSL. Everyone does that. Everyone uses Bleed to Beat her. Like almost everyone on the internet just looked up that build and cheesed her with the fucking uh blood build. Or summoned like crazy, or combination, you know, of cheesy things like that. I wanna beat her head up. I don't know the moves. I don't know what to do because I don't know the moveset. Can't see. Her wings block everything. Look out! Dash. I knew she was gonna do it. I couldn't move. Don't let me. I never had a build that restored HP on hits. I only had a build that restored HP on deaths. Kills. That's why it doesn't work in this fight. It will never work in this fight. I want to die. She's, 
just so much damage. I'm trying to read the attacks. I learned the dive, it dives, and then she thrusts. I know that. That's about all I know. Because her attacks are blocked by the stupid fucking wing, so I can't see her body animations to react to it. I'm learning pattern, like, fight one, I feel, unless I really fuck it up or she keeps doing the stupid waterfall thing, I can get to phase two. Forget the stance breaker. Let's enhance flame, because the sword has a flame element. So I think that by doing that, that's actually gonna help with flame attacks. If I decide to use that special flame attack that the Blasphemous Blade has, it should enhance the damage. Literally, it's the waterfall move that's going to destroy me. By the way, some people have already given me some tips on how to stop it. Like, some people said if you craft these freezing pots or something, and you talk them when she jumps that you can interrupt the attack. I think that's ridiculous. I'm like, how is that gonna work? Because she does it so fast, I don't know how you could possibly have the pot hit her. That's bullshit. That she could do the kick and then the poise move? Because it's two ultimate poise moves back to back and you can't do anything about it. I'm rolling right now and it never came out, so she got health back she didn't earn. Bullshit. Okay. I tried to roll. I swear I tried to roll. Get a load of this. Well, that was fair. She immediately did the waterfall. <laughs> immediately. Giving me no chance to do anything. It's looking like the flame attack with the Blasphemous Blade is quite good. Because she keeps getting knocked down. So I'm almost debating if I should just have another FP pot for it. I can't even roll. Fucking stupid. Laggy fucking control. Nothing, I, I might as well just let her kill me now. Just kill me. Go ahead. There's no point in continuing. She uses every poise attack through what I'm doing. I can't hit her with the regular attacks I can usually use. She uses a poise attack in the middle of me attacking, so she's gonna get a free hit. Just kill me, I'm not even gonna continue. I can't hit her now, it won't attack, ever. Right, she just keeps interrupting. I rolled back, he rolled forward instead. I was holding back and he rolled forward. Does it make sense? I roll. I swear to God, I roll. It won't come out when I do it and it's pissing me the fuck off. She attacked through it as if I'd never done it. Wow. But not for me. Oh, that's waterfall? Oh, I'm done. I didn't know that was waterfall dance. I didn't even know because the animation looks different. Really? People are saying if you run towards the attack, it might work better. Oh, I'll have to try that. Run towards that attack rather than away and try to dodge. Okay. I did the wrong one, didn't I? Yeah, I keep doing flame cleanse me, I think. By accident. Bullshit, I can't, now I can't dodge. Yeah, I can't dodge out of the way. You won't even, tra look, you won't even track her. The camera hasn't focused on her yet. You notice that? The camera wouldn't focus on her even though I was locked on. Bullshit, I shouldn't have gotten hit there. Bullshit again, here we go. Now I'm stuck in the corner. Look where they put me. They put me against a fucking tree stump. Come on, get out of there, you stupid bitch. Roll! Why is he jumping? I tried to fucking roll, he jumped. Wow. <laughs> the controls are so delayed, I can't even get what I want to come out. I'm serious. It's like I'm doing a move, and the next move that comes out is the move I did a second ago. So I'm like, I'm already into the next thing I want to do, and I, the other move that I did a second ago is coming out. So I'm so delayed at everything that I'm trying to do in the fight, it's like a fucking insane lag. Like, I feel like I'm playing an, a minute in the past, trying to get stuff to come out. It's fucking dumb as shit. I 
couldn't, I couldn't run. The game wouldn't let me run. You saw how slow he was? I was holding circle and the game refused to let me run after the attacks. You know what? I'm not even gonna buff anymore. Fuck this. I'm gonna use flame attacks. I'm gonna save my FP for the flame attacks. Wow. Even that far away. Roll. Where's my roll? I attack the wrong direction. I get hit. Fuck this fucking bullshit. Attack the wrong direction. Now I wonder why I get hit. Because he doesn't track the fucking lock on his shit. You can't get out of the way of waterfall dancing point, point blank, so just give up. Can't roll now because I'm against the wall. There's nothing I can do. Yep. She does a dash forward fast move I'm against the wall, so I can't get out of the way because I'm rolling back into the wall. Nothing I can do. Again, this fight is serious RNG. You have to absolutely get lucky and hope she doesn't hit you with the fastest moves and the fucking waterfall over and over. Stunlocker. She's being cheap as fuck. Now I'm done. Wow. You want to talk about cheap? She does two of the healing triple slash flurries in a row. Then I can't do anything about it because she does fucking waterfowl. That's insane cheapness right there. Look who's talking. I'm doing good because if you get the good RNG, you, I know how to avoid all the other attacks. It's the fucking, the triple dash slash. If she does it twice, you can't avoid it. There's not enough stamina to do it. And if she does waterfall at up close, you're fucked. She literally did two things you cannot avoid if she does them back to back. You're gonna lose all your health. If you jump towards her to do anything or you're walking towards her and she does waterfall, it's over. Just give up on the fight. There's no point. Complete waste of time. What am I gonna do? Dodge a me a hundred times, lose all my life anyway. She gets all her life back. I use all my flash. Why am I playing it? I just gotta get good RNG where she doesn't do it repeatedly. It worked. Running under it works. Awesome. Thank you guys for that. I'm fucking out. I read the script and I know we get past. Just a matter of time. I can't heal. I can't learn her new attacks because she does so much damage output in the second form that I can't learn the attacks. I'm trying to learn what's safe, what's not. Most of it is not safe. And those broken attacks are fucking crazy. That clone move is stupid. You gotta be so far away. If you can get way far away, then it's good because then she dashes forward and is open. But man, that's a pain in the ass. Come on, commit to a move that's not the waterfall. Hey, guess what? Nope, waterfall. I couldn't roll! Did you see that? He like got stun locked in a in a run animation and couldn't stop. What was that? I've never even seen that happen. It's getting to the point where I think what I should do is just fucking seriously just keep doing the fucking flame attack over and over. Because it seems like you can combo her for giant damage. So maybe I should do like seven fucking FP flasks and just keep using the flame attack. Because every time I start to do well, she just does the bullshit moves you can't get away from over and over. It's not fucking not fair. That's stupid. Oh, you're doing well? Let's ruin your entire run that you wasted five minutes on by spamming the same attack over and over. Wow, that's really fucking fair. There's nothing I can do because I can't get my bearings to start the fight. She just keeps doing the high chasing boys attacks. I can never get back to square one and now she has all her health back. Roll. Oh, she slashes through the roll. Of course she does. Roll. Why can't I roll on reaction? Just keep getting hit. A roll still hits me. Like, come on. Fucking do it. Roll. Dumb fuck.
can't move right now. I got locked into a move I never did. I never did that attack. I seriously never did. The game just gave it to me. You know what? Am I gonna get out? Here we go with the bull. She gets all her health back and I can't get out of it. <laughs> Who's soul a monster? Do the super chat saying millennia is 110 against zero for the jumping strategy. Okay, good for you. 806? Alright, how about this? Here we go. 825. We're at 825 deaths now. Here we go. We're getting there. We're getting to the thousand. That's how much I care about the fucking death counter. I'm taking on the most challenging FromSoft boss ever. Oh, I care about the death counter right now. Sure. Yeah, if I was an asshole, maybe. Ran out. Oh, I didn't know that's what she was doing. I don't know the animation. Suspicious. It looks it looks totally different in the second form. You basically need to get under her. She lands. You need to not be standing on a pedal because if you're standing on a pedal, it completely takes all your health and rots you. So you need RNG for the positioning you're standing after the pedals explode. Then you need to hit her with repeated flames. You, it looks like you can stun lock her with a bunch of flames, but if your FP runs out, now you're fucked because you don't have enough time to do FP and do it again. But maybe you can do it. Maybe you can keep doing it if you have enough FP. So that's a good sign. Someone made a good point. They said, why don't you use the physic instead of the one that buffs face? Do the one that gives you unlimited FP. Because if she goes second form, run under her, she slams. There's going to be the stupid pedal explosion. Chug this and then just start wailing with the flame attack. Maybe I can get three to four of them in and I won't run out of FP. Wow, she said no heal for you. I'm on my ass. I can't get up. Did you see that? I got knocked down somehow and I couldn't get out of the way. Yeah, I see that. I I got knocked down and he wouldn't get off the ground and she got three to four free hits. What the hell was that? I've never seen that before. She comboed me when I was on the ground as if I were riding my horse and the horse got taken out and then you get stun locked on the ground for a while. That's literally what happened to him. He couldn't move. This one guy left a comment on my video. He goes, oh, I beat her in like an hour by summoning, by using this stun locking spell because she was distracted. And then I did this and that. And, and someone's like, damn, I mean, it's, it's legit. But if you're actually trying to beat the game's head up like Dark Souls, <laughs> it didn't work at all. I tried. It didn't even knock her down, right? I think it maybe knocked her down for half a set and it didn't work anymore. Yeah, bullshit. I try a new strategy that worked one time when I tried, but I had no FP. This time I have unlimited FP and she gets up through it. And now it's like, why did I even bother? It's already over. Can't get away. She waits for me to have no stamina to do that. She reads it. She looks at your stamina bar and she's like, oh, you can't, there's no way you can adjust to the three hit attack. So I'll just do it. See? Fuck that. Just kill me. I'm so tired of it now. Just so tired of it now. I'm just gonna two hand. There's no point in doing the dual wielding. It's not helping at all. If I don't dual wield and I two hand, I can get a little bit of auto healing back with the shield. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I should mix up here. Maybe stamina recovery speed. Godfrey's icon boost, takers, flame damage. What the fuck does that mean? Enhances charge spells and skills. Yeah, I don't know about that. It's so much less damage. I think I'm at, yeah, I want, this is going to help with the HP recovery, but it's so much less damage. Look how much little damage I'm doing. Ridiculously low damage. Ah, uh, this is terrible. Alright, it sucks. The only way I can even do significant damage to her is by using the fucking dual wielding. I can't even do enough damage to even have a fair fight if I don't dual wield. Fucking chug. 
It was a good idea to try something different, but that was terrible. I was doing half damage. Man, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know how much that jump attack talisman is actually helping me. There's no point in using the mixed physic. I need to beat the second form. I'm using the mixed physic to beat the first form. That's a complete waste of time. already recovered. Yeah, it's already over. I rolled. I rolled after that one. Oh, that's it. Waterfall, right? Oh, no, she didn't do waterfall. Waterfall? No. I can't tell what she's doing. It's a new attack. I don't even know what it was. Sure. I don't know what the fuck. Dude, I have no chance. All her moves in the second form have super armor. So I never have an opening. Even the moves that she used to do in the first form. She does the charge slash and she goes... Slow slash, slow slash. She used to be open after it. Now she has a follow-up explosion afterward that I was behind her and my sword touched the explosion and it stopped my attack. Like there's nothing you can do to start to even interrupt her moves. And there's no opportunity to punish them. She's always got fucking stuff that you can't do anything about. I just don't know, man. And I kept thinking she was doing the waterfall because it looks like it's waterfall and it's not. All the animations look the same in that mode because she just hovers and has the wings out. Every fucking attack in that mode looks the same. Here we go, the bullshit. Yeah. Reads my junk, does a fucking poise attack that I can't avoid. Reads my heal, does a poise attack I can't avoid. Then my roll comes out insanely late after the poise attack. Of course. Just kill me, I don't care. I'll do one more attempt and then we'll go on break. I hit twice. That's hilarious. I hit twice and I fucking roll. Now, now I can't get away from it. I can't get away from the triple. I need a break is what it is. I can't get away from the triple dash or the triple slash even though I've dodged it a million times. Anonymous dollar fifty tipper. This is your hardest fight, your hardest moment that will define your soul's legacy. Go through your items, think of a new strategy. There's, I don't have the build to do a new strategy, nor do I have the skill. I haven't focused on anything else but what I'm doing throughout the playthrough. I'm not going to relearn the entire game on the fly and beat the fucking hardest boss. That's stupidity to even say that. It really is the dumbest thing you could say is go just relearn the whole game now from the start you know just immediately come up with something like no it's gonna be basically i learn her moves and i do my absolute best to not fuck up and get good rng like most tough bosses in fromsoft that's what it always is you dodge the easily broadcast moves you get lucky that they don't spam the tough ones and you know you get a good combination of attacks i think that there's something to the flame attack I think you can possibly hit the boss three to four times in the second form. The problem is I need to know the timing and I don't. So I'm doing it and I'm, I'm doing it late and I'm not stun locking the boss. It looks like we keep knocking them down, knocking them down. What's hilarious is that everyone who's talking about beating this boss is literally telling me about a different technique. You got to use the bloodhound step. You got to, you know, do this, do that. And it's all essentially everyone would call it cheese, you know? Oh, you cheesed it by doing that or that. No, the truth is the boss is a boss you can't really fight straightforward because it has every advantage, every possible advantage against you. Every odd is so impossibly against you. 
the re-healing every time that they that it hits. The fucking bullshit that it reads your heals, it reads your rolls, it can do the fast attacks over and over and over with infinite stamina. And then in the second form, I can't even see half the attacks because of the stupid wings. They all look the same. So it's like, you have to find a way to take advantage of stuff. I would guess the majority of people who beat her probably summoned. I know some people didn't, and that's great on them, but I gotta figure it out. It's gonna take a million years. It's the hardest thing they've ever put in a game. Just come back from break, and I have refreshed myself a little bit here. And then I'm gonna go back to the enhanced jumping attacks because it is doing a lot more damage. If you haven't noticed, it's doing like 200 more damage every hit. I really hope that I can beat her by the end of today's stream. If not, well, that would have been six straight hours of attempts. Actually, I take it back, probably seven, because I did try with that intelligence build at first, which I'm actually forgetting about at this point. What? We're not in the final form? What the hell? <laughs> Already fucked, she already got out of it, see? Your cheese, extraordinary. The mark of a true cheese seeker. Wow. That was complete luck, by the way. I will 100% admit that was luck. If you didn't notice, she didn't use any of the ridiculous attacks. She did not use the fucking waterfall in the second form at all. She wasn't using any, really, any of the super armor attacks. And then I lucked out. I was able to get her to the side of the arena so that I was hammering her with the flame attack. She couldn't get out of the way. And it basically got two to three in a row, and that was it. I got lucky. So I'm happy that I beat her legit. No summons. But man, I got lucky. I will 100% never say I 100% head up destroyed her. There's no way I would ever say that. The, exactly. A win is a win. At least I didn't summon to do it. But my God, that was luck. I don't think anyone's going to watch that and say that wasn't lucky. I mean, there's people who probably have a way harder time that getting her locked on the wall there was like supremely lucky. Well, that will definitely stand in history for now as the toughest boss I ever fought, I think, in any game. And definitely in FromSoft history. That was the most deaths. That was, I think, over 100 deaths. You can talk as much shit as you want about that, but I really didn't want to do any summons. I didn't want to do summoned. I think that would have made it way too easy. I definitely went through the ropes to get to this point to beat her. Look how, how many times I had to try to fucking beat her. It was 125 deaths. Is that what it really was? Devin says, you're one of the few people who challenge themselves to beat the game without summons or other cheeses, but not make fun of other people for doing so. I wouldn't want to make fun of other people. Listen, as I said, summons are there for a reason. There's people playing this for the first time. They've never played a FromSoft game. The summons make it accessible. I'm okay with that. Play however you want. But here's the thing. If you are a streamer or a content creator, know your audience and make it entertaining for them. If I ran through the whole game summoning, people would have hated the playthrough. I don't want to do that. And it was challenging and fun doing it, too. I mean, it was stressful as fuck, but I'm glad I got it done. One eternity later. Thank you, Malcolm. He says, congratulations on beating the ridiculous boss fight. Thank you, thank you, everyone, for, for putting up with the many hours. It was five, like six hours to beat him. I think it was one hour of intelligence build, another hour of intelligence build, an hour and a half of the halberds, and then going to this build, about a half an hour, and then about another hour. So probably about five to five and a half hours to beat her.